What's up? How y'all doing today? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Easy. Y'all go in on, you know, uh, Mr. King Cop, Mr. King Snitch of, of, of the South. Uh, he could take that Burger King crown off his head. Uh, he can no longer ever call himself King of the South, okay? I told y'all, go check out my video, T.I.'s the King Cop of the South. I made this video probably three years ago because I already knew what he was and what he what he really about. Whack 100 and them find out, well, T.I. actually come out and admits, admits that he snitched on his cousin, okay? He admits this, but the reason we're not, the thing that we're not thinking about is why is he doing this now? What could cause a guy who's been telling people that he's not a snitch and a rat and he's certified for years come out out the blue right now and expose to the public that he has ratted on his own cousin? Could it be that people are out there who have this information and they're about to bring it out so he'd rather come out and say it first? Is it a family member who's tired of T.I. and say, you know what, I'm going to go and put you on blast by the fact you snitched on our cousin. So he want to bring it out first. So I'm going to let y'all hear. Hear what T.I. said about the situation. I can make everything go away. Out the Wag 100. Shout out to. You know, my lawyer said, well, you know, I can make everything go away if it, if it was Tremel's. After he had passed, I had a talk with him. What you say? Say I take all the charges you got. If you can walk away free and put it on me, goddamn right. So is that so, what boys giving you shit about because you put it on? Nah, hell no. Nah. Okay. Don't nobody even know about that. I just volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> nobody even know about that. You know what I'm saying? You that's that's that you can tell here already. Ain't nobody even know about that. I just volunteered that information. I'm just you being know. honest. That's the only time. Mm. I done never said or gave no information about nobody because that's my cousin, my big cousin. Mm. He was dead and he told me that it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that. He said that was his big cousin. His cousin is dead. And his cousin told him that it was okay. How a dead man talk to you, T.I.? How does a dead man talk to you? This man right here, y'all be saying, oh, people hating on him and people like this, man. Y'all, ain't it funny how all the rich dudes, all these rapping dudes keep coming up with FBI informants and rats under their name? Seems like these niggas might as well should have stayed in the street. Because if you're going to snitch and you a rapper, you might as well sell you some dope while you're on the street. How you how you talk to a dead cousin? See, you know what he trying to do, y'all? This ain't nothing but him trying See, because Gangster Williams got, got out of jail, you know, by snitching on his homeboys, and you see people, you know, letting that fly by, you know what I'm saying? He want to come out and use the same thing and try to say he snitched on a dead cousin that he talked to. How you talk to dead people? You got see, you the six cents now, you the little boy from six cents now, you talk to dead people, T.I. Negro, please. And like Wack 100 said later on in this video, I got to give a shout out to Get It Radio Show for uh, posting this. Like he said, how we don't know that he snitched on the cousin first, then he died. Because the cousin can't verify nothing that T.I. saying, right? Because he dead, but all, I don't know. How, well, he probably can because T.I. talked to him. <laughs> and he said it was okay to snitch on me because I'm not here. So you go ahead and tell on me so you can beat those cases, T.I. T.I., uh, he a mind, what, what they call him? He a medium, too. He a medium, too. He a psychic. Uh, I guess he can talk to dead people now. Dead people can tell him to snitch on them so he can beat cases. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all got to understand, <clears throat> I come from an era in the 80s, man, when crack first hit and stuff, where niggas used to get walked down in the projects and get beat with chains. New York niggas get gas thrown on them and burnt up. You find people you find people bodies for snitching. You little tender dick little niggas nowadays, y'all don't know Y'all so can't wait to get back to your girlfriend because you're tender dick or your uh no, I think it's y'all boy y'all boyfriend. I think y'all rough y'all miss hanging around y'all boyfriends. That's why y'all snitch so much. Cause it ain't your children, it ain't your old ladies. It ain't your children and your old ladies. You niggas snitching just to go back and hang around niggas. See, and try try 
Snitch on a nigga back in the 80s and 90s and see what was going to happen to you. You was going to either end up dead or brutally harmed, paralyzed, burnt up, beat the damn near beat, embarrassed through the whole neighborhood. Something was going to happen to you, but there's no consequence today, so it's cool. And as long as you got the bag, it's okay to snitch today. It's okay to snitch today. Niggas still hang around niggas who got the bag knowing they rats. But that shows the moral integrity of those. Them ain't men. Them groupies, them females in men's clothing with men private parts, genitalia. Those ain't men. Those are, fe those are male groupies. Transsexual niggas. That's what they is. And this nigga right here is the police. Mr. I can't understand why my son was arguing with a short order cook. I can't understand why your rat ass ain't got in smoke yet. <laughs> and I ain't wishing no death on you. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying. That snitching, bro, and you supposed to be a seven times. See, y'all, to y'all young cats, y'all don't know this. Y'all just see Mr. Actor T.I. Y'all wanted, y'all was babies or something. You know what I'm saying? When this when first happened, you're 2,000 babies. This nigga got caught with, with silencers, spaceship looking guns. All types of stuff. A silence alone gets you 20 years, y'all. One gets you 20 years. I think this nigga had two or three, or even if he had one, that was 20 off top. How the hell you beat them cases? Came home in a year and a day. Then got caught with eggs pills with him and Tiny driving somewhere. Think he? I don't even think he went back to jail for that. I think he went and did six months. Back out after violating parole. Then he get on Crime Stoppers as a tipster, telling people to be on Crime Stoppers. Then when his friend for lunch got killed, which I think that was probably a sacker. Y'all don't know. I think I don't know. You never know with Ti. I know his sister died. He probably got rid of his sister too. You know. You never know with him and Tiny. That little boy Tiny he dating. Talking about that's his wife. Tiny is a boy. That's why that. That's why that little cartoon character looking boy in here. But uh, yeah, he go up on stage. He snitch on that. I been told y'all he a cop. And I love, I like this nigga music. That's what's crazy about it. Like I tell you, I'm not a hater of no man. I give a man his props, but I'm not nobody who's just a fan of nobody like that. But I always give a man his props no matter my, whether I dislike him or not. Dislike him or not. I like his music. Uh, dominant. Um, king shit. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't no king. He a rat. That Burger King trope, that Burger King crown off your head to you can't never be no king of the South. Ever. All you rap niggas turn them out to be rap niggas and them form. Y'all snitches and them form is for the FBI and police. But y'all out here making all these streets about you drill music and nigga, please. T.I. is the police and he finally come out and tell him you can't do what Brian Williams did because Brian Williams is an official certified street nigga. Meaning that when he go home and hit the streets, yeah, a nigga might say something, but they going to mumble it. See, a nigga will tell you to your face that you's a rat and they know you a rat. Because you ain't got street credibility like baby, uh, brother, like Brian, or like uh, Williams, dude. You ain't got his street credibility. So niggas will say he a rat and say it under their breath because he's still that same nigga that was about that life. And he, and he probably, he, he, he did 20 some years. Ain't nothing to go back if he got to, you understand? But you, you a rat. You a rat. I'm going to say, I'm going to play this one more time so people can hear it one more time about you with this stupid lie you done got. Because somebody finna expose T.I. That's all this is. Check this out. Somebody I'm going to show you how I afforded this car. Old confet. My lawyer said. My lawyer said, well, you know. My lawyer said, well, you know, I can make everything go away if it, if it was Tremel's. After he had passed, I had a talk with him. That's what you said. He, am, I, am, I, am I crazy? So y'all won't say. He talked to him before he died. He said, after he passed, let me say that again. I mean, let me rewind it. So you won't think I'm just saying that just to make a video. Make everything go away if it, if it was Tremel's. After he had passed, I had a talk with him. That's what you said. How the hell you talk to a dead man? How the hell do you talk to a dead man? This nigga Cleo... This nigga Cynthia Bryant, what's her name? Cynthia Brown. This nigga psychic, so he can talk to dead people. He, he the boy from Six Sense. That's your cousin. That's your cousin. See how the boy from Six Sense. How you talking to dead people? What what dead person gonna say? Hey, 
I'm, go ahead and snitch on me. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, Chip. I'm good. Let, 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 let y'all hear it again. For the people that say, oh, you hating on him. Nigga, I'm going to be, nigga, I ain't, well, nah, I ain't going to be no broke forever. But nigga, just because I ain't got it and I ain't living all great and shining like that, nigga, I ain't got to hate on no nigga. Because at the end of the day, you can have Lamborghinis and you're going to go in the same ground I'm going to go in, nigga. I'm a nigga of morals, integrity, and standards. I ain't selling that for nothing. I ain't never been a rat snitch, nothing like that. I'm a man, bro. A man. Say, I take all the charges you got. If you can walk away free and put it on me, goddamn right. So is that so, what boys giving you shit about because you put it on? Nah. So he said a dead man told him that if it was me, if you could put it all on me and walk away, then I'll do it. He's trying to use what baby brother did by him telling on people that were actually dead that he didn't talk to in the afterlife. <laughs> That's the difference. And the difference is he got street credibility, so it don't matter to him. He can go home and walk through the same neighborhood that niggas sit up there making videos on. Oh, when gangster come home, he better not come this way. Gangster could get a video camera and walk down that same street with them same niggas who said that and they ain't gonna make a move because them niggas cap. Because them young niggas be all talk. That man was a real stepper. All right? He snitched on people that, he told on people that was dead. Now, I don't agree with it, but then you look at it in a certain way, somebody doing all them years like that and they could get out from stuff that they know from niggas that's gone, gone. Not they, not he can go back and ask them <laughs> like T.I. Then, hey, that's a decision that can't nobody answer but with somebody going through that. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody got an opinion, but unless you went and did over 20 years and you knew some information that could get you out about some people that was dead, then that, that's on you to decide whether or not you would have did that or not. So I really can't judge the man for that. But you, nigga, you, T.I., I can judge you because you a liar and you've been a, you been a snitch. Whole career fake, whole backstory fake. And I don't like the way you disrespect people who work nine to five is the way you disrespect that teenage boy, bro. Tell me he a short order cook. I didn't see why he wanted to stoop down to the level of a short order cook. Yeah, the police say. That, that, this should end his career, hopefully. This should end his career. Uh, Y'all need to stop letting people get away from being false and being fake. But then 90% of the people today are fake. So uh, y'all will get along well with T.I. Uh, that's the end of this video. I thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. Please subscribe to the channel. Please stay tuned. And also, if you want to show the channel some love, I appreciate whatever it is you can say. I ain't got a lot of money like T.I. I don't snitch and I ain't no right now and work for the FBI. So please work. I mean, uh, donate to the channel if you would like to. I would truly appreciate it. This your boy Easy. I'm out.